All right, hello everyone. Um, it's really been a different world since um, we last met at Kigali earlier in the year. I trust everyone is doing okay. Um, before I go on, I would like to say a very big thank you to the organizers of Africa Tech Summit. Thank you for having me a second time on this platform. Um, I appreciate this. And uh, for people that have not met me before, I am Toyo CEO Dukoya. Currently, I lead digital transformation for Coca-Cola. Um, in West Africa, Central and Islands of Africa. And just in the next few minutes, we'll be looking at effective digital transformation strategies and how can we feel fast and more importantly, learning faster. I know that um, if I ask people on this call <laughs> what digital transformation means, um, we'll have different definitions, we'll have different understanding, and it really it's fine. It's fine, and that reminds me of um, the cartoon I came across on the internet, <laughs> very interesting one. And you see different leaders saying different things, um, you know, leveraging video meetings, using collaborative tools, you know, being that data-driven, customer-centric organization. We have all sorts of definitions for digital transformation, and it's cool, really. And if you meet more tech-savvy people, they will say things around e-commerce, they will say digital marketing, they will go into things about artificial intelligence, cloud computing, analytics, blockchain, and, you know, digital transformation means different things to different people, uh, means different things to different organizations based on what you do, which is fine, but there must be a unifying factor. And irrespective of how we define digital, irrespective of what digital transformation means to us, one thing is sure value. Digital transformation must drive incremental value in terms of our processes, in terms of our bottom line, in terms of customer experience. And I think this should be the unifying factor when it comes to digital transformation. And that's why I have this definition on um, from Salesforce. So the critical thing is if something is so important in driving value for us, it's very important that we get it right as much as we can. And there's some fundamental principles, I feel, and I believe, and from experience I've seen, that are very important for us if we're going to implement effective digital trust strategies. And there are just five for me, very simple five um, principles. The first thing is the principle of trust. And this, we must see the leaders creating that foundation of trust. There must be clear expectations defined. Um, people across the organizations, leaders, stakeholders must be clear on what is coming, on how we want to take this, on what to expect is very, very critical. Beyond defining the expectation, there must also be the listening culture. And this really, really fosters trust as well. When we're listening, and we're not only listening just to hear, we are listening to take actions where required. So these three principles, defining the expectations, listening and taking action are very critical when it comes to building trust when in implementing the judgments transformation strategy. Commitment is another thing that is very, very, very key. We have as leaders, as executives, it's beyond just signing on paper, it's beyond just being a sponsor on the paper, we must model the behavior that we've said and we've agreed that we need to. It must be a priority on the plates of every leader. It's critical, it's important. How, as well as also investing in talent. You are only as good as your talent. We cannot afford to drive digital transformation without having a clear talent strategy. It's very important. How do we, what skill gaps do we have in the organization? How do we acquire the skills? How do we build the skills internally? How do we help the people internally to have this capability required across various levels? And most importantly, how do we even retain the talent and the skills in house? Very important. Another, um, another platform, another um, way for us to ensure that it's effective when we are implementing our digital transformation is collaboration. And they have seen that from experience and from talking to a lot of people across the globe, many digital transformation strategies fail because they are running as a stand-alone strategy. No, digital transformation is integral into the organizational strategy. It cannot be a standalone. It must be part of the organizational strategy. It's not just that you're just in one corner, those digital guys, and they're doing their own thing, no. And finally, there must be a mindset, mindset change. There must be a cultural shift. It's important. Everyone in the organization must understand how digital is now a catalyst for growth, how it contributes to what I do, and how and the position I play in this new picture. So these five principles for me, they are very critical and they will help a lot in setting up um, a successful digital transformation strategy. Does this mean 
that when I have all of these things in place, things cannot go wrong? Well, not necessarily. Things can always go wrong. Things may all may go wrong sometimes. So what are those things that I also need to look out for? How do I know when I'm not seeing the right signals? So the first thing I would say is synergy. The moment you're not saying synergy, it might be time to take a step back. For example, you're running an initiative and um, you are just on your own. There's no partnership, no cooperation, no collaboration, no teamwork, just like you are in your own world. Once you start having this feeling or you start seeing the signs, it's time to take a step back. Another thing is what I call the human helicopter. There must be somebody, an executive to be precise, who has the helicopter view of the organization and who is telling you and who is ensuring that the digital initiatives and strategy are speaking to the overall strategy. This person has an oversight of what is going on across the organizations, across functions and across strategy, um, and across units. And this person must be on board giving you, once you don't have anybody like this on the table, then your digital strategy may not be as effective as you will and it might be time for you to actually take a pause. Another time is what I call the silence mode. <laughs> This can be so funny and you know sometimes you are just driving this initiative you are so lost in your world and nobody's speaking to you and you're not speaking to people as well <laughs> when you start seeing this and you have everywhere silence my goodness maybe it's time for you to have um another call and just gather people around again the critical stakeholders because even if it's negative feedback you're getting honestly feedback is golden Either way, either it's positive, either it's negative. Once people are talking to you and you have the opportunity, I think you might be on the right track. And finally, when there's a struggle with culture, when people are just, you know, not ready to change, when there's that resistance, it's also time for you to see, say, oh, I think something might not be working with the best. So these four things are very important. They are important signs for you to see, to know things are going on well. So when you're not seeing either of those things or a couple of those things, you might just want to take a step back and have those conversations again and when you are at this point is there a time for you to feel stuck to feel discouraged to feel like oh i don't have anyone the human helicopter you know on my team i don't have the feedback no one is talking to me i'm lost you know it looks like i'm just running a one mass show or a one team show and the culture of the people are just difficult i know we just go on and on and when you it's not the time to feel stuck it's not the time to feel stuck at all it's the time for you to make a decision do you want to pivot or do you want to persevere you must make that decision. And you cannot make that decision alone. It's not made in isolation. It's a time for us to gather again the stakeholders, the sponsors, the end users, whoever they are across the organization. Let's look at it. When something is not working, obviously we pivot. There's no point, you know, going on and on and trying to really make things work when they are not working. We try to pivot. And what important thing is never feel stuck while driving a digital initiative. Never feel stuck while driving a digital strategy because you always have options. You have options and you can either pivot and you can persevere. Always remember that you're not stuck. It's very, very important because the moment, the feeling of, uh, the feeling of being stuck actually is what makes people, you know, to keep on um, overloading and overdoing things when it's not working and they not get burnt out. So always remember that you have the option to pivot or persevere. However, many people think this might not be possible. And I think one of the reasons why people struggle with this is because we've not built the right culture and the right behaviors for digital transformation. If we're going to really drive digital transformation, experimentation is key. There must be new ways of working. We must embrace experimentation. Experimentation breeds curiosity. It breeds trust. It breeds creativity. Experimentation breeds, you know, growth. Experimentation breeds failing fast. Experimentation breeds learning faster. You know, this is very important for us um, as an organization, as a people. We must give people the opportunity to scale things, to test hypotheses, you know, and they must be able to take learnings and refine and keep on building. Without this behavior without embracing experimentation honestly driving digital transformation is going to be a struggle in most organizations so i encourage us today you know we must really really be advocates of experimentation in all our organizations particularly leaders and we must also model this and this eventually will make us to see the value that digital transformation brings to our organization 
And um, I would like to say thank you, and I'll take um, a couple of questions with the remaining minutes um, before I go. My details are on the screen as well. Thanks, Tayasi. That was very informative as always. Uh, great to have you here, and thanks, thanks for calling in from from uh, Lagos. Um, thank you, Mr. Yeah, great, great. Some uh, some questions from the audience are coming in, um, which we'll, we'll work our way through. Um, so the first question: What has COVID changed for you in terms of in in terms of online and digital uh, marketing? Um, well, so I think like, um, and thanks for the um, for this question. I think like most organizations, um, we've all had to be more innovative generally in every company, every individual, with respect um, when we had to, when we're faced with COVID. Um, no doubt we've been in this space before. Um, so most companies have been in this space, particularly the big companies. And so we just need to ensure that um, we made things easier and better for everyone in terms of accessibility of um, products and services. Okay, and and in in terms of uh, one other question here from from a company, um, as a company in Africa, how do we build a digital strategy to target many customers who cannot access data and mm. services? So, is that a hybrid mm. kind of solution? What do you suggest there? Well, so um, there are no fast rules. It all depends on your industry and what you're trying to sell. One thing that is very common in this part of Africa is USSD. Um, so USSD is a function that um, um, that we need to embrace if you think you have low internet penetration in locations. I recall the last time um, during the same um, in February at Kigali, um, we were talking at the panel I joined. We we're talking about ensuring that you provide services that your customers actually have access to. You don't say because something is the in thing and is the latest trend, then you must go for that. No. What is the numbers currently saying? What's the service saying? So if you're if you're targeting consumers, customers um, that where we have low internet penetration, then we start looking at options like USSD where you can still interact with them without necessarily um, using the internet. So there are many other creative ways that we have in Africa that we can use to engage. Um, consumers. A question here from a startup. Uh, what should we do as a startup with limited budgets who can't cover all bases? So, I mean, uh, for those who can't maybe have online campaigns and different apps and different digital settings, mm. what do you? What, what What are the top mm. What are the top takeaways for a startup maybe to to um, build a digital plan? Yeah, for startups, what I would say is. Um, you need to be very clear on your priority. And um, I think I didn't say it while I was talking, when you're implementing digital initiatives, you can't do everything at once. You just need to decide that, apply that 80 20 rule. You need to look at what are those things, one or two things that will move the needle faster. And based on that, you run. I wouldn't say specifically this is what you should do because <laughs> I don't know what organization or what um, kind of budget you're talking sure. about. But important thing is prioritization. Be very clear on your prioritization. Take baby steps. Don't run yourself but make sure that whatever you're doing is effective and like i said don't ever feel stuck always ensure that you have a, a way to measure your initiatives you're measuring it and it's delivering on those numbers and if it's not giving you the value you want you have the right and the opportunity to pivot great one one final final question someone's written coca-cola what has the digital experience been in covid and how, how have you had to change what you do or not Okay, so um, I think I answered this a bit earlier. Um, really, for us, we've been in the space for a while, so um, we just have to be more innovative, um, ensure that the uh, products are closer to the consumers, you know, and come up with more platforms that um, everyone can access. So beyond that, um, we just keep ensuring that we get closer to the consumers um, every day. Yeah. Great. Well, we're, I'm afraid we're, we're just out of time on the questions, but what I will say to any any of our delegates, you can also reach out to Teosi. So if you go to the People tab and you can search for Teosi, you could set up a one-to-one -one call. You can talk to her around your, your digital transfer. I, I don't know if you want to have a help center, but <laughs> if you want to speak to Teosi more on, the, on your digital challenges, she, she, I'm sure she'll be happy to help and have a meeting with you. Um, and we thank you so much, Teosi, for, for uh, taking the time. Um, and we'll now move to our next session.